Numerical Analysis, Wikipedia Article Audio Numerical analysis is the study of algorithms that use numerical approximation for the problems of mathematical analysis. General Introduction History Direct and Iterative Methods Discretization and Numerical Integration Discretization Generation and Propagation of Errors Round Off Truncation and Discretization Error Numerical Stability and Well-Posed Problems Areas of Study Computing Values of Functions Interpolation, Extrapolation, and Regression Solving Equations and Systems of Equations Solving Eigenvalue or Singular Value Problems Optimization Evaluating integrals Differential equations Software Notes One of the earliest mathematical writings is a Babylonian tablet from the Yale Babylonian collection, which gives a sexagesimal numerical approximation of the square root of 2, the length of the diagonal in a unit square. Being able to compute the sides of a triangle is extremely important, for instance, in astronomy, carpentry and construction. Numerical analysis continues this long tradition of practical mathematical calculations. Much like the Babylonian approximation of the square root of 2, modern numerical analysis does not seek exact answers because exact answers are often impossible to obtain in practice. Instead, much of numerical analysis is concerned with obtaining approximate solutions while maintaining reasonable bounds on errors. Numerical analysis naturally finds applications in all fields of engineering and the physical sciences, but in the 21st century also the life sciences and even the arts have adopted elements of scientific computations. Ordinary differential equations appear in celestial mechanics, numerical linear algebra is important for data analysis, stochastic differential equations and Markov chains are essential in simulating living cells for medicine and biology. Before the advent of modern computers numerical methods often depended on hand interpolation in large printed tables. Since the mid-20th century, computers calculate the required functions instead. These same interpolation formulas nevertheless continue to be used as part of the software algorithms for solving differential equations. The overall goal of the field of numerical analysis is the design and analysis of techniques to give approximate but accurate solutions to hard problems, the variety of which is suggested by the following. The rest of this section outlines several important themes of numerical analysis. The field of numerical analysis predates the invention of modern computers by many centuries. Linear interpolation was already in use more than 2,000 years ago. Many great mathematicians of the past were preoccupied by numerical analysis, as is obvious from the names of important algorithms like Newton's method, Lagrange interpolation polynomial, Gaussian elimination, or Euler's method. To facilitate computations by hand, Large books were produced with formulas and tables of data such as interpolation points and function coefficients. Using these tables, often calculated out to 16 decimal places or more for some functions, one could look up values to plug into the formulas given and achieve very good numerical estimates of some functions. The canonical work in the field is the NIST publication edited by Abramovitz and Stegun a 1,000-plus page book of a very large number of commonly used formulas and functions and their values at many points. The function values are no longer very useful when a computer is available, 
but the large listing of formulas can still be very handy. The mechanical calculator was also developed as a tool for hand computation. These calculators evolved into electronic computers in the 1940s, and it was then found that these computers were also useful for administrative purposes. But the invention of the computer also influenced the field of numerical analysis, since now longer and more complicated calculations could be done. Direct vs Iterative Methods Consider the problem of solving For the unknown quantity x For the iterative method, apply the bisection method to f equals 3x 3a24 The initial values are a equals 0, b equals 3, f equals a24, f equals 57 we conclude from this table that the solution is between 1.875 and 2.0625. The algorithm might return any number in that range with an error less than 0.2. In a two-hour race, we have measured the speed of the car at three instants and recorded them in the following table. A discretization would be to say that the speed of the car was constant from midnight to 0, 40, then from 0, 40 to 120 and finally from 120 to 2 o'clock. For instance, the total distance traveled in the first 40 minutes is approximately equals 7004933000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000
iterative methods are generally needed for large problems. Iterative methods are more common than direct methods in numerical analysis. Some methods are direct in principle but are usually used as though they were not, e.g. MRAS and the conjugate gradient method. For these methods the number of steps needed to obtain the exact solution is so large that an approximation is accepted in the same manner as for an iterative method. Furthermore, continuous problems must sometimes be replaced by a discrete problem whose solution is known to approximate that of the continuous problem, this process is called discretization. For example, the solution of a differential equation is a function. This function must be represented by a finite amount of data, for instance by its value at a finite number of points at its domain, even though this domain is a continuum. The study of errors forms an important part of numerical analysis. There are several ways in which error can be introduced in the solution of the problem. Round-off errors arise because it is impossible to represent all real numbers exactly on a machine with finite memory. Truncation errors are committed when an iterative method is terminated or a mathematical procedure is approximated, and the approximate solution differs from the exact solution. Similarly, Discretization induces a discretization error because the solution of the discrete problem does not coincide with the solution of the continuous problem. For instance, in the iteration in the sidebar to compute the solution of 3 x 3 plus 4 equals 28 plus 4 equals 28 after 10 or so iterations, we conclude that the root is roughly 1.99. We therefore have a truncation error of 0.01. Once an error is generated, it will generally propagate through the calculation. For instance, we have already noted that the operation AND on a calculator is inexact. It follows that a calculation of the type A plus B plus C plus D plus E is even more inexact. What does it mean when we say that the truncation error is created when we approximate a mathematical procedure? We know that to integrate a function exactly requires one to find the sum of infinite trapezoids. But numerically one can find the sum of only finite trapezoids and hence the approximation of the mathematical procedure. Similarly, to differentiate a function, the differential element approaches zero but numerically we can only choose a finite value of the differential element. Numerical stability is an important notion in numerical analysis. An algorithm is called numerically stable if an error, whatever its cause, does not grow to be much larger during the calculation. This happens if the problem is well conditioned, meaning that the solution changes by only a small amount if the problem data are changed by a small amount. To the contrary, if a problem is ill conditioned, then any small error in the data will grow to be a large error. Both the original problem and the algorithm used to solve that problem can be well-conditioned and slash or ill-conditioned, and any combination is possible. Advanced numerical methods are essential in making numerical weather prediction feasible. Computing the trajectory of a spacecraft requires the accurate numerical solution of a system of ordinary differential equations. Car companies can improve the crash safety of their vehicles by using computer simulations of car crashes. Such simulations essentially consist of solving partial differential equations numerically. Hedge funds use tools from all fields of numerical analysis to attempt to calculate the value of stocks and derivatives more precisely than other market participants. Airlines use sophisticated optimization algorithms to decide ticket prices, airplane and crew assignments and fuel needs. 
Historically, such algorithms were developed within the overlapping field of operations research. Insurance companies use numerical programs for actuarial analysis. Numerish Mathematic, Volumes 1 to 66, Springer, 1959-1994, Numerish Mathematic at Springer Link, Volumes 1 to 112, Springer, 1959A Euro 2009, Siam Journal on Numerical Analysis, Volumes 1 to 47, Siam. 1964A Euro 2009. Hayes Winkle, Michael, ed. Numerical Analysis, Encyclopedia of Mathematics, Springer Science and Business Media BV. Slash Kluwer Academic Publishers, ISBN 978-1-556080-010-4, Numerical Recipes. William H. Press, First Steps in Numerical Analysis, R.J. Hosking, S. Joe, D. C. Joyce, and J. C. Turner, CSEP, U.S. Department of Energy. Numerical Methods, Stuart Dalziel University of Cambridge, Lectures on Numerical Analysis, Dennis D. Turk and Herbert S. Wolf University of Pennsylvania, Numerical Methods, John D. Fenton University of Karlsruhe, Numerical Methods for Physicists, Anthony O. A. Euro Trademark Hare Oxford University, Lectures in Numerical Analysis, R. Radok Mahidol University, Introduction to Numerical Analysis for Engineering, Henrik Schmidt Massachusetts Institute of Technology, Numerical Analysis for Engineering, D.W. Harder, University of Waterloo. So an algorithm that solves a well-conditioned problem may be either numerically stable or numerically unstable. An art of numerical analysis is to find a stable algorithm for solving a well-posed mathematical problem. For instance, Computing the square root of 2 is a well-posed problem. Many algorithms solve this problem by starting with an initial approximation x0 to 2, 2, for instance x0 equals 1.4, and then computing improved guesses x1, x2, etc. One such method is the famous Babylonian method which is given by xk plus 1 equals xk slash 2 plus 1 slash xk. Another method, which we will call method x, is given by xk plus 1 equals 2 plus xk. We have calculated a few iterations of each scheme in table form below, with initial guesses x0 equals 1.4 and x0 equals 1.42. Observe that the Babylonian method converges quickly regardless of the initial guess, whereas method X converges extremely slowly with initial guess X0 equals 1.4 and diverges for initial guess X0 equals 1.42. Hence, the Babylonian method is numerically stable, while method X is numerically unstable. The field of numerical analysis includes many sub-disciplines. Some of the major ones are Interpolation We have observed the temperature to vary from 20 degrees Celsius at 1 o'clock to 14 degrees at 3 o'clock. A linear interpolation of this data would conclude that it was 17 degrees at 2 o'clock and 18.5 degrees at 1.30 p.m. Extrapolation, if the gross domestic product of a country has been growing an average of 5% per year and was $100 billion last year, we might extrapolate that it will be $105 billion this year. Regression, in linear regression, given endpoints, we compute a line that passes as close as possible to those endpoints. Optimization Say you sell lemonade at a lemonade stand, and notice that at 
you can sell 197 glasses of lemonade per day, and that for each increase of 1 cent, you will sell 1 glass of lemonade less per day. If you could charge $1.485, you would maximize your profit, but due to the constraint of having to charge a whole cent amount, charging $1.48 or $1.49 per glass will both yield the maximum income of $220.52 per day. Differential Equation if you set up 100 fans to blow air from one end of the room to the other and then you drop a feather into the wind, what happens? The feather will follow the air currents, which may be very complex. One approximation is to measure the speed at which the air is blowing near the feather every second, and advance the simulated feather as if it were moving in a straight line at that same speed for one second before measuring the wind speed again. This is called the Euler method for solving an ordinary differential equation. One of the simplest problems is the evaluation of a function at a given point. The most straightforward approach, of just plugging in the number in the formula is sometimes not very efficient. For polynomials, a better approach is using the Horner scheme since it reduces the necessary number of multiplications and additions. Generally, it is important to estimate and control round-off errors arising from the use of floating-point arithmetic. Interpolation solves the following problem, given the value of some unknown function at a number of points, what value does that function have at some other point between the given points? Extrapolation is very similar to interpolation, except that now we want to find the value of the unknown function at a point which is outside the given points. Regression is also similar, but it takes into account that the data is imprecise. Given some points, and a measurement of the value of some function at these points, we want to determine the unknown function. The least squares method is one popular way to achieve this. Another fundamental problem is computing the solution of some given equation. Two cases are commonly distinguished, depending on whether the equation is linear or not. For instance, the equation, 2, x, plus, 5, equals, 3, is linear while, 2, x, 2, plus, 5, equals, 3, plus 5 equals 3, is not. Much effort has been put in the development of methods for solving systems of linear equations. Standard direct methods, i.e., methods that use some matrix decomposition are Gaussian elimination, LU decomposition, Koleski decomposition for symmetric and positive definite matrix, and QR decomposition for non-square matrices. Iterative methods such as the Jacobi method, Gaza Eurocidal method, successive over relaxation, and conjugate gradient method are usually preferred for large systems. General iterative methods can be developed using a matrix splitting. Root finding algorithms are used to solve nonlinear equations. If the function is differentiable and the derivative is known, then Newton's method is a popular choice. Linearization is another technique for solving nonlinear equations. Several important problems can be phrased in terms of eigenvalue decompositions or singular value decompositions. For instance, the spectral image compression algorithm is based on the singular value decomposition. The corresponding tool in statistics is called principal component analysis. Optimization problems ask for the point at which a given function is maximized. Often, the point also has to satisfy some constraints. The field of optimization is further split in several subfields depending on the form of the objective function and the constraint. 
For instance, linear programming deals with the case that both the objective function and the constraints are linear. A famous method in linear programming is the simplex method. The method of Lagrange multipliers can be used to reduce optimization problems with constraints to unconstrained optimization problems. Numerical integration, in some instances also known as numerical quadrature, asks for the value of a definite integral. Popular methods use one of the Newtonah-Eurocoats formulas or Gaussian quadrature. These methods rely on a divide-and-conquer strategy, whereby an integral on a relatively large set is broken down into integrals on smaller sets. In higher dimensions, where these methods become prohibitively expensive in terms of computational effort, one may use Monte Carlo or quasi-Monte Carlo methods, or, in modestly large dimensions, the method of sparse grids. Numerical analysis is also concerned with computing the solution of differential equations, both ordinary differential equations and partial differential equations. Partial differential equations are solved by first discretizing the equation, bringing it into a finite dimensional subspace. This can be done by a finite element method, a finite difference method, or a finite volume method. The theoretical justification of these methods often involves theorems from functional analysis. This reduces the problem to the solution of an algebraic equation. Since the late 20th century, most algorithms are implemented in a variety of programming languages. The Netlib repository contains various collections of software routines for numerical problems mostly in Fortran and C commercial products implementing many different numerical algorithms include the IMSL and NAG libraries. A free software alternative is the new scientific library. There are several popular numerical computing applications such as MATLAB, TK Solver, S+, and IDL as well as free and open source alternatives such as FreeMAT, Syllab, New Octave, and IT++. There are also programming languages such as R and Python with libraries such as NumberPy, SciPy, and SimPy. Performance varies widely, while vector and matrix operations are usually fast, scalar loops may vary in speed by more than an order of magnitude. Many computer algebra systems such as Mathematica also benefit from the availability of arbitrary precision arithmetic which can provide more accurate results. Also, any spreadsheet software can be used to solve simple problems relating to numerical analysis. Journals Online texts Online course material